The pandemic right now really is taking a toll on all of us and it's impacting us in different ways. And this is a really especially difficult time for people that work as caregivers. Fortunately, the Wounded Warrior Project now has $7 million set aside to help them out. Yeah, it's going to give that money out in $3,000 grants that they can use however they want. Our Sarah Jones spoke with a local family who says it's going to make a big difference in their lives. Before he got deployed to Iraq, he put this parachute cord around my wrist in 2007, and I've never taken it off. That's how she knew her only child was always with her. Every time my phone rang, I mean, I was scared. After two tours and three years in Iraq, he finally came home. After all the adrenaline went away and people quit coming, that was when I knew something was wrong with him. Her best friend was now angry, depressed, and began drinking heavily. I was afraid I wasn't going to be alive. He threatened to kill me and gave me explicit details. So she called the VA. Austin was diagnosed with traumatic brain injury and PTSD. The Austin that I sent overseas, he didn't come back like I sent him. The brain injury affected his memory, but there are some things a soldier will never forget. It was a terrible thing that went off like IED, hit with a bunch of mortars, and then it blew up. It wasn't very nice. Because they hurt my memory. Bridget says her son also suffered a car accident due to his heavy drinking from PTSD, and he now requires 24 7 care. With Austin's traumatic brain injury, my son has the brain of a seven year old. I bathe him, I dress him, and um, and there's nothing I wouldn't do for him. Bridget had to give up her career to take care of her son, and they lost their home. Just because Austin's not missing a limb or something, he still needs 24 7 care, which the VA does not recognize. The Wounded Warrior Project says the pandemic has created an added stress for caregivers. Many of these injured veterans have very compromised immune systems, have stopped receiving those in-home services. Of course, that puts an additional demand on them. That's why they're investing more than $7 million in support for caregivers. Each enrolled Wounded Warrior family will receive $3,000 this month. For them to use whatever they want to use it for, whether it's house cleaning or yard repairs. It means I can pay a caregiver and go someplace for a couple nights. Bridget says a mother's love is unconditional. Eyes open to Aisha. I love you, sweetheart. I love you too.